There goes my mind racing. That's the original drum. You are the reason. Here comes the pitch shifted drum. But I'm still breathing. Hi, and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Lee J, and we're going to do something a little bit different today. As a music reactor, sometimes there's this expectation that we only say good things about a song performance. I totally get it. Nobody likes a negative Nancy. But at the same time, the reason why we watch reaction videos is for people's honest reaction, right? For their honest opinion. I recently did a reaction to Daryl Owen and Morissette singing You Are The Reason. But in that video, I made a comment about the production and I got some critiques. Here's that original reaction. There goes my mind racing And you are the reason Okay, this is not about his singing, but that, that like snare that filtered snare sound the tone of it is really cool but it's in the wrong key it's in the wrong key of the song i don't have perfect pitch so i don't know the exact pitch i just know it sounds off so i made that comment about the production and i got some critiques in the comment section some of you wrote that i didn't know what i was talking about and that there's something wrong with me which to your point i have been wrong many many times in my life and that will not change honestly i think it's amazing that fans of these artists come to bat for their artist i just want to show you in this video what i meant when i said the snare was not in the right key before we begin, make sure to smash those very important buttons right down below. It really does mean a lot to me to have your support here, regardless of whether or not we agree on everything. I just feel so blessed to have this platform and that you all are here. So thank you for that. I thought the production was really well done. The singing was phenomenal. I mean, they're both amazing singers. And if I would have made this track a few years ago, I would have been thrilled. I would have been over the moon at the quality. I've just learned a few things about production. I hear things differently now, and I just wanna share with you what I've learned, and we're gonna talk about that. The first thing I did was I took a clip of the song, and I put it into this website called voice.ai, and what this website does is it splits all of the tracks. So here's the entire song. All right, you can hear the piano, you can hear the drums come in, the bass, and then it splits all the instruments individually. So here's the bass. You can hear just the bass, right? Here's the drums. And then you hear just the piano. And then you hear just the vocal. Beating, cause you are the reason. I mean, it does a pretty good job. It's not perfect, but it does a really, really good job. And then I downloaded just the drum file and I dragged that into a software called Logic. What you're seeing on the screen right now is a WAV file of the song. And I pulled it into a software called Logic. Love Logic. Drop a comment below if you use Logic and you love it as much as I do. Ever since Phineas came on the scene and he just made all those beautiful tracks with Billie Eilish using Logic, it really gave Logic some serious street cred. On the top row, we have a wave file of the song. Let me play it for you. There goes my heart beating. Cause you are the reason. Such a nice voice. Right here, we have that filtered snare sound. I like to call it a filtered snare. I read in the comments that uh, it could also be a wood block, which it does sound like a filtered wood block as well. Let me just play that for you. So there's that one. Okay. So to the left here in Logic, there is a blue button and it's highlighted. It says Tuner. 
And what's great about this built-in tuner is that it will tell you the pitch of something. Unfortunately, my OBS is not showing it. So I'm gonna take a screenshot and then I can add it to the screen. It does show that it's about, uh, it's like flat of C without getting too in the weeds about the production and like these production terms. I've enabled something called flex pitch and this flex pitch shows you the pitch of this particular snare sound. And it's shy of C, right? So it's not actually hitting the C. And, and the note C is in the key of B flat. So this song is in the key of B flat. However, it's not actually a C, it's actually pretty flat of C, which is why to my ears, it sounds dissonant. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and pitch this drum into a B flat or an A sharp. Same, same thing, right? Two different names, same thing. And we're gonna hear what it sounds like. So these blue sections show the original pitch of these drum sounds, right? It's right around C, flat of C. And down here in this section, in the orange sec section, I've taken that same drum and I've pitch shifted it so that instead of it being like a flat C, it's now exactly an A sharp or a B flat. Same thing, different name, tomato, tomato. And we're gonna listen to how different it sounds. In the blue sections, we still have that original drum and the the orange is when the new like pitch shifted drum comes in. It might sound a little wonky because we don't have the original audio files, but you will get an idea. There goes my mind racing. That's the original drum. You are the reason. Here comes the pitch shifted drum. But I'm still breathing. I'm hopeless now. Let's just hear that one more time. There goes my mind racing And you are the reason That I'm still breathing I'm hopeless now I hope this video made sense. I just wanted to show you why I heard that drum note as just sounding dissonant. It sounded off. You know, this song is in the key of B flat. That particular drum note is uh, not quite the note C. It sounds somewhere between like B and C. It just sounded dissonant to the key of the song. Amazing. Thank you so much for checking out this video. I hope you learned something today. I hope I was able to share something that was interesting and useful. Let me know in the comments what you thought of this video. I've never done a tutorial. I mean, I guess that's what this was, right? It was kind of like a tutorial. I've never done a tutorial like that before. And if you wanna see more videos like this, drop a comment below. If you thought this video was boring, feel free to let me know as kindly as possible. <laughs> and if you wanna just see me do reaction videos, feel free to drop a nice kind message in the comments below. Again, I really, really appreciate your support. I love it when you all like comment and engage with the video, with, with each other. It makes this feel so much more connected and I love that. Okay, on that note, be healthy, be blessed, and until next time. I'm no longer